I'll probably just start by explaining what the Data Lab is. There are several in the audience we've engaged with heavily, but the Data Lab is one of eight innovation centres funded through the Scottish Funding Council, following an understanding and realisation from the Scottish Government that of the lack of investment in research and development across Scotland in terms of the commercial industry and in some parts of the public sector as well. And they sought bids from industry as to areas of focus for the investment in the Innovation Centre programme. And eight innovation centres were created, six of whom are industry or niche sector focused from stratified medicine to Scottish aquaculture and oil and gas. And two of the innovation centres focus on cross-cutting technology, which includes census, who are working on sensors and imaging technology and ourselves at the Data Lab. And really our focus is to help organisations, both commercial and public sector, innovate through the use of data science and analytics to drive economic and social benefit for Scotland. So really at the bottom line, I've got some really key KPIs that my stakeholders are managing me to, that is the impact on the economy of over 104 million and the creation of 250 high value jobs in Scotland. And the way we're going to do that, uh, and have been doing that over the last 18 months or so, is firstly through collaborative innovation projects with industry, public sector and academia, where we can fund and invest in time with academics to work on particularly, particular challenges from industry or public sector. Or indeed, I have an in-house team of data scientists that can deploy on projects. For those projects, really, we're looking at novel and innovative application of data science. And I'll give you a few examples and some of the impact that we're already seeing and some of that impact that those organisations are predicting. So one is with a small legal startup called Amicus, and they are accessing previous case law and court records to, uh, they use natural language processing to analyse that, and they're providing a claims dispute platform or building one where they will use machine learning algorithms to predict with some level of likelihood of the success of your particular claim. And their, their mission really is legal justice for all. So their platform will disintermediate parts of the legal sector and fundamentally it's founded on access to open data from the justice system. Uh, another example is with uh, Global Surface Intelligence, which is an organisation which analyses satellite data. And they're working with academics from Edinburgh University uh, predicting crop yields. So they take images from satellite of every single crop field around the world. They're using image analysis and uh, growth projections from different types of crops, uh, merging that with weather data and other data to predict crop outcome and yield from an individual field. So the value of that to commodity brokers, to governments, etc., around the world is significant. And we've invested 1.3 million in the projects that we've supported over the last 18 months. They've not all completed yet, but we've committed that investment. And those organisations are predicting an impact on the economy, the Scottish economy, of over 50 million pounds. So the impact that they are predicting through the successful uh, capability of the project and follow on activity to either commercialise a product or implement a service improvement or business operation, that is their own predictions in terms of the impact for them as an organisation and then on to Scotland. We have an extensive skills and talent programme because it's great getting everyone excited about the world of data science but actually you need that funnel of talent to be able to enable uh, organisations to take great advantage of it. And Roger touched on that a little bit. And we started with some sponsored MSCs and some co-sponsored PhDs. And that our skills and talent programme now is significantly extended. So this calendar year, in fact, on Saturday, we've just launched our MSC sponsored programme for this calendar year with over 90 students across seven universities. We pull that cohort together for common education, for access to open data sets. So they will work on data sets and trying to tackle some of the challenges from uh, SEPA, uh, Aberdeen City Council, among others. We have co-sponsored PhDs and we've launched an engineering doctorate with St Andrews, 
which really seems to have, uh, shall we say, met a gap in the market for industry. We'd hoped for five or six industry partners to work on that with us, and we have applications from over 27. And for the engineering doctorates, they, the research engineers, they will spend 75 to 80 percent of their time in industry working on real problems with support from the academic team at St Andrews and around 20% taught time at St Andrews as well. And we've been delighted actually that the first six we've approved, three are with the commercial sector and three are actually in public sector. So actually it's been fantastic to see the appetite from the public sector to really embrace the opportunity here. We are just about to launch an executive education program with the Institute of Directors. And that is really to help, uh, get, again back to the, one of the challenges that Rosemary said, senior business leaders, executives understand the impact of data-driven innovation for their business, their sector and their industry. And actually to take the ostrich approach and stick your head in the sand about disruption and being disintermediated is not a position that organisations um, will succeed and, and possibly even survive taking that position. So that executive education is to really enlighten them, to talk about the data maturity assessment, to talk about the business cases for investing in data-driven innovation, to talk about how do you articulate the benefits to your board, and where do you start? So there's many organizations we've spoke to that wait and say, well, our data's not perfect. Your data will never be perfect. You just start where you are. Uh, so that's a programme that we're now working with Mike Nielsen and the Digital Director about how we roll, potentially roll that out across public sector, but also with Scottish Enterprise in terms of how we access the breadth and depth of organisations they support. And we're also working with Skills Development Scotland and SQA around data apprenticeships with the impending levy uh, and the opportunity that presents and the significant demand for data talent at all levels in the pyramid we think that data apprenticeships is a key area uh, that we can help fill. And then the third pillar of what we're trying to do is build the community. So we now have a data science technology meetup community of over 1,300 data enthusiasts across Scotland. We run alternately in Glasgow and Edinburgh. I would welcome all of you and your colleagues to come and attend where relevant. We've launched in Aberdeen, we launched in Dundee on Monday, and we will launch in Inverness. And the scale of those events now have got to the stage where we're streaming them live. So if you can't physically get along, certainly to the ones in Edinburgh and Glasgow, um, please uh, log into the live stream. There's a fantastic opportunity for, you know, Roger's been at some, I think Jerry at the back's been at a few. It's a great networking opportunity. It's a chance to uh, share challenges, to understand from other organisations. And in fact, the next one in Edinburgh at the end of this month is we have uh, with Royal Bank of Scotland, where we have a, a member of their data team and a psychologist they employ about how data and human behaviour collide and the, the challenges that that brings. So it is waitlisted, so you might have to, to look at the live stream. We have some significant plans for next year. Uh, Data Fest 2017, it's a whole week of data festival activity across Scotland, which will incorporate a Data Talent Scotland event, which we ran this year. 500 attendees, we bust in 260 students from across Scotland. We had 50 businesses exhibiting, uh, and we plan to make it even bigger next year, and a 2D international summit. But in the classic festival style, we'll provide a platform for, and we're encouraging and we will have an open call for activity all across Scotland um, with some relevance to data. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can register some interest now, datafest.global. So we have really, really big ambitions. We're working with SDI. We have already helped companies come and set up in Scotland where they were going to go to London and set up their headquarters somewhere else in the world. And access to talent, access to the support that we have here is making a real difference. So I think we should aim really, really high. I think we have all of the fantastic ingredients here to make a big difference. And I think the targets that have been set, I hopefully will be able to smash both the economic targets, the social benefit targets, and the creation of many, many, many new jobs. Thank you very much. <coughs>